We just learned a high school football player was killed in a quadruple shooting yesterday afternoon in Northwest Jacksonville, according to his coach. He gave us this photo of Antoine Williams, a student at Rebolt. According to police, as many as 50 gunshots were fired along Brooklyn Road, hitting four victims. The teen's coach spoke with News 4 Jacks reporter Marilyn Parker, who was joining us live near the scene of this shooting. Marilyn. The head football coach at Rebolt High School says Antoine Williams had a great personality and was always smiling. Jacksonville police are still searching for the suspect and following leads, hoping to get answers for a community with a history of gun violence. It's been one day since four men were shot in what police call a chaotic scene. People close to the victims say Antoine Williams, a football player at Rebolt High School, died in the shooting. He was a, a good kid, very energetic, had a great personality. And it, he just really was always positive. Every time I saw him, he was smiling, he was happy, and he was just a good kid to be around. The school's head football coach says the coronavirus pandemic has become an issue for students not having much to do. Saying that football would have started last week, um, would have had that first day last week, would have had that interaction. Not saying that could have changed in their results. What I'm saying is that they would have had some place to be. Neighbors described Sunday's shooting as a war zone. I thought I was in Vietnam again. I was looking at TV and I heard it, pow, 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 pow. It sounded like an automatic weapon, but it's so regular, I didn't pay too much attention. I spoke to News for Jack's crime and safety expert, Ken Jefferson. He says, unfortunately, it's a way of life for people living in what he calls a vulnerable area. JSO says the suspect fired around 50 shots. Jefferson says it's fortunate more people were not hurt as the shooter was randomly trying to hit a target. White says while it hurts not having school or football right now, he encourages mentors and leaders to reach out to students. To the coaches, to the mentors, no matter what league you're in, uh, call your kids, keep in contact, talk to them, um, give them that guidance, that leads to need. Because Police say they're hoping the shot spotter will give them more information on the suspect. JSO says they're looking for a white Kia sedan they say was possibly seen leaving the scene here yesterday, traveling east. If you have any information on this shooting, you're asked to call JSO or Crime Stoppers at 866-845-TIPS. We're live on the northwest side. Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, the local station.